Oh, good morning, it's Matt, and in this episode, I've got something special for you. Now, those of you which don't know, that the Zoe, sorry, Zoe HD released the airstrike earlier today, uh, as in on YouTube, and I'll put a link to this page in the YouTube video in the description for you, uh, and you can go and take a look at this, I'll turn the music down. Uh, but if you've not been and seen it, they've been and got a new, more sleeker model, a little delta wing should I say uh, go and watch the video and you'll be able to get more acquainted with it now the thing is is that we're not going to be able to see this until September so I have been to put an order in for this model uh, over on Banggood I think it cost me it's put it this way it's not very cheap at the moment But as we have learned that over time that the, the Zoe HD models do get cheaper over time. Uh, some of them get really cheap actually over time, but uh, uh, I, it's expensive at the moment if you do a pre-order like I've just been and done. And I'll put a link to Banggood and if I can find one on, on AliExpress, I'll put a link in there as well. Uh, then in the video description for you. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is, ooh, this looks pretty cool. I want one now, how can I have one now? Or let me word this correctly, how can we have one of these now without getting one sent as a freebie for review? Uh, instead, what are, our, what are our options? In fact, there's a, there's the scale one, so I'm look at it on a beach. Uh, that's probably, yeah, that's a little bit nicer. So taking a look at it, it's definitely a delta wing design. Um, just immediate uh, thought is that this model is designed for high speed flying, okay? Just by the, I don't know if you noticed the motor on the back, it's a 2200 kV 21, 2216 motor or something like that. Basically, it's meant for smashing around the sky. So this one is gonna be a fast one, although I must admit, I have actually spoken to Zoe HD in the background, and they say, Matt, this one's not really meant for range or anything like that. <laughs> like, so I kind of pointed out that I kind of did 48 kilometers with my Dart 250G. So doing range in this one could be a big possibility, question mark. Don't know until we get it. Anyway, get to our point. We have a detachable nose that gives us options for the nose. I did see there was two different lids, I think, just from what I've seen in the photos. Uh, we've got the second bay in there for our flight controller, so FPV on the front, battery, flight controller. Now, my first reaction was that, oh my God, these air vents are absolutely massive. And in reality, those of you which are doing gonna be using this for range, you're probably gonna tape up or laminate over those air holes uh, and just leave this one on the top, if at all, to make it more aerodynamic so that you don't have three great big air scrapes on it slowing you down. However, those of you which are gonna fly it as designed, which is gonna be a fast little tree basher, then you definitely want these air holes in there because you will want the air over the ESC at the back uh, to keep it cool because you're going to be smashing the nuts off it. And of course, it looks like we've got detachable wings, detachable nose and detachable fins like we've seen on the, all the other ZOHD models. Now, with all that being said, what they've really done nicely for us is given us this image, which is a top down view image of the model and they have been provided the wingspan and length for us. Now, what from my past experience, when they do length, they do nose to the end of the motor, not from nose to there. And that actually goes in hand in hand with what I've got up uh, in, no, that's OBS where we're recording this, in Photoshop. So what I've been and done is taken this, uh, taken that image, trimmed it down, cropped it down height and width wise. Uh, I have taken a little bit of transparency on it so I don't use up too much ink. And those of you who have just been and clicked what we're gonna be doing is, uh, I've been and set the scale on this now to 600, is it control I, I yes. Uh, 600, so the width of the wings uh, span on, on this one, or the width of this image is now 600, and we'll call that 20 millimeters, which is exactly the same in their specifications. And what was the height? Yeah, 620 as well. So it's a square design, because remember we're missing the 30 millimeters off the back, which is the can of the motor and the propeller. So like I mentioned, it, it's gonna be close enough, is the point which I'm trying to make. So what I've been and done is taken their artwork, scaled it, chopped it down, scaled it up, 
to their same dimensions as the model because I was going to cut one of these out and go, oh, this is what it might look like uh, in front of the camera. And I thought, no, I can actually do, I can do better than that. We can do better than that. So I've been and got that on there. Now in f uh, wherever it is, now if you save that as a PDF to scale, then what you can do in Acrobat Reader, as you can tell, I've been Googling this in the background and I'm all kind of excited, is that if you choose the poster option, is that I can now print this out on several sheets of paper and then I'm gonna cut them together and then take them together and then suddenly I have, and by the way, you will have, a layout where you can make your own airstrike before they've been released and see potentially how it could fly. Now I'm going to be making mine out of Depron and the reason why I'm using Depron is because I have loads of Depron sheets down in my cellar and I've been looking for an excuse or something which would excite me to go on and build. I think this is it for me. So I'm going to print this out uh, over multiple sheets. Then I'm going to take them all together and I'm going to use that as a template uh, to get the actual dimensions on here and maybe get an idea on the kind of angles by looking in the other photos as well. Uh, and I'm going to make my own airstrike. Now, if you would like to also make your own airstrike, what I will do is share a link to this, uh, the ZoHD Airstrike 2 PDF. Uh, and I'll include another one which is full color as well, not so, it doesn't have so much transparency in it. And I'll include links to those files in the video description for you. You will need Adobe Acrobat Reader. And like I said, um, hit Control P or just press Print. Choose the poster option and then you've got your options in there. Just a little hint on there. If you want to save ink, uh, choose the save ink on there. Print grayscale as well. Uh, and the other thing as well, which I did notice in the printer settings, is that make sure you set the print quality to draft as well. That will save you some ink because we're only really interested in the outlines. But I'm going to print the whole thing. Uh, the reason being because that gives me exact markers where different things should be and I'll be able to plan this out on the Depron. So if that's something which you'd like to join me with, uh, then like I said, I'll include the links to the files uh, in the video description for you, uh, for you to abuse uh, as you see fit. But it's a nice way of us getting to potentially see how this model could look uh, and feel uh, in the sky before it's actually released. So there you go. First of all, meet the Alpha Airstrike. If you are also interested in the real model, which you can own the non-mashed up <laughs> Depron version, uh, then I will include a link to Banggood uh, so that you can go on, take a look at the details, etc., etc., and of course the ZoHD site. Uh, and if I can find one, like I said, on AliExpress, I'll include the link in the video description as well. But I'll also include a link to those two PDF files, which you can use and print off in your own printer, and then create maybe using cardboard or some sort of foam, or maybe hacking up another model of some shape or form, so that you can go and create your own Alpha Strike before it's been released. Uh, and by the way, let's be frankly honest, I'm not expecting very much from my own self build. Uh, if it actually stays in the sky, I will be absolutely shocked. Is it an actual replacement for the Alpha Strike? <laughs> no, absolutely not. We all know how well molded their foam is, so I. I don't think it'll be a patch on it. I'm just looking for an excuse to keep me entertained for a couple of days uh, while I'm not doing CrossFit and nurturing an injury. To be brutally honest, and this looks like a real fun project for me to do, and I'm sure one or two of you may also join in for the fun as well. So there you go for myself, Matt. Watch this space. Uh, if, By the way, if you've just joined me here at the workbench uh, and you've never met myself before, howdy, I'm Matt, welcome aboard. Uh, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and the reason for that is because one of the next videos could be the build a review to my home built alpha strike and it could also be the maiden in this one as well. So on that note, if it sounds like a fun idea, hit the thumbs up. If you think it's an absolute shit idea, do me a favour, huge favour, hit that thumbs up three times in anger. That would be absolutely appreciated. So from myself, Matt, cheerios.